them off fish with um, some marks on them. I just want to check they're okay. So I'm going to net them out and uh, see if I need to give a little topical treatment of potassium permanganate. So this is the potassium permanganate that I'm going to use to treat the wounds. Um, what I've done is taken a few drops of tap water and mixed it with um, a sprinkling of the, um, the dry powder. And what you want to do is get a little area in your bowl and work it up into a nice concentrate solution. People talk about this being a paste, but it really is not a paste. It's a um, concentrated, diluted, uh, concentrated solution um, that uh, you don't want any bits of potassium permanganate on getting onto the fish. So you can see there, that's all dissolved in this little area. So I'm gonna use that. When I've finished, I'll just put that in the cupboard. It'll, um, the water will dry off, it'll turn to the crystals again, and I'll just use it next time. So it's actually really straightforward to use that if you're doing ongoing treatment or if you've got various fish that you need to use, just pop it back in the cupboard when you're done. I use a baby changing mat, it looks like a bit of a mess. This is mostly marks of propolis, which is um, a, a treatment that you can use uh, that's really great for uh, mild healing, but it unfortunately doesn't make a bit of a mess and makes it look a bit untidy, but um, it's all very clean. I've got my regimental uh, equipment for it. Two long nets that reach the bottom of the pond. If that works, you can sort of get it from both angles. It's much better than trying to catch one with a single net. And I've got this really nice soft sock net that I use for scooping the fish up gently and uh, carrying it across to be anaesthetized. So I've mixed up a bucket of coisidate. It's got four and a half liters with um, five milliliters of the coisidate in there. That's now ready for the fish to go in. So your next job is to catch the fish and, and put them in there. I tend to use a sock net which is really soft um, uh, because these coarse nets here uh, tend to take a lot of the mucus off the fish um, which you can smell it creates that sort of fishy smell you get in a fish market um, really you want to try and avoid that so using a nice soft net um, makes a big difference okay so the um, fish has been there in there for about a minute it's just uh, waiting for the sedate to kick in now I think that needs to go for a little longer. We want him just tipping onto his side. There we go, right. Okay, so now I'm gonna gently bring him out onto the baby changing mat. So I can have a look at the injury he's got on the top of his head. Okay. Right. Slightly on the other side, I'm just gonna roll him over gently. I've got a piece of dampened kitchen towel Now I'm just going to use a cotton bud just to investigate this saw he's got on the top of his head. It looks fairly straightforward. So I'm just going to tuck the, the dampened towel over its eyes and its, uh, its gills to stop, stop us having any trouble with the potassium permanganate getting into its delicate areas. I've got this over here, I'm just going to dab that on the top hopefully get it all into the wound very localized a little bit more make it nice and clean and then get the fish straight in to the bucket to recover fresh pond water and I'll leave him in there probably about 15 minutes just so he can Get happy with life again. About five minutes now, he's um, he was toppling around a little bit and turning over, so he's still got a bit of recovery before he feels better. But we're, we're looking in good shape. About 10 minutes now, this guy's champing at the bit, so we're going to get him back in the pond and uh, so he can swim around again. Potassium permanganate, you can see on his on the bit I've treated there, is it stays on the wound, uh, so you don't need to do any um, any pace or um, uh, like a covering um, because it will stay it'll keep it nice and clean for several days and um, some people think that's a bad thing but actually it's, it's really great it's keeping the wound clean and um, it allows it to start to heal so off he goes so all the fish are happily swimming about now I'm really pleased I've nipped those uh, little small injuries in the bud um, they'll heal very well particularly uh, in the middle of summer so the temperatures are really high and the uh, the water quality is great so they'll um, they'll do really well and um, uh, and I'll, I'll keep you posted on progress